Welcome back to my channel and another episode of Shandera Creates. But hold up, wait a minute, let me put some boom in it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe so you can join our awesome Shandera Creates family. Make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you're following me on all my social media sites. And if you are part of the shout out fam on Saturdays, I will be shouting you out at the end of the video. So stay tuned. In this episode of Shandera Creates, we are making hydrogen peroxide slime because a lot of you've been asking for it and yes, 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 baby, I got a recipe for it. So let's get into this video and let's go. So for the first part of this tutorial, we are gonna use glue. I'm using four ounces of Jolt glue. And I got this glue from the 99 cent store, you guys. Well, actually Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree and 99 cent store are like two different um, brands I would say and the 99 cent store is cheaper so anyways I got this glue from the Dollar Tree and I'm using four ounces of this glue now we're going to use a quarter teaspoon of coloring this is like uh, oxide so if you don't have oxides you can use uh, anything you like but that's just a quarter teaspoon of oxide now I'm doing about five to ten pumps of lotion this is Dr. Till's lotion that I got from Walmart you guys and I think I'm doing like 20 pumps I may or may not this stuff was really hard to open so I'm just doing 20 pumps of it now after that I'm gonna add some more lotion so this is more like a orange lotion and it's more like a cream and it's gonna smell really good now I'm gonna use a quarter teaspoon of baking powder so this quarter teaspoon I'm doing twice which is a half a teaspoon so I'm using a half a teaspoon of baking powder that's what this white stuff is now we're gonna just use a little bit of shaving cream not too much and not too little just a little bit just to give it a nice tech fluffy texture you guys and now we're just gonna mix this up until it's combined So now we're going to add our hydrogen peroxide. This is just a cheap version. You could get this at any store. I got this at Walmart, of course, the Equate bread. <laughs> so I'm adding two tablespoons, which is an eighth of a cup of hydrogen peroxide. You can add a tablespoon, you can add three tablespoons, but I wouldn't add any more than three tablespoons. And you just wanna mix that in until it's combined. Make sure it's mixed in and you get a nice puddle. So your mixture could be really, really uh, soupy, but you don't want it too soupy, you guys. Now we're gonna add our Selene solution, which is contact lens solution. You can find this at the Dollar Tree. You can find this at Walmart. Y'all know Equate brand, Walmart. So I got this at Walmart. Honey, they just need to make me the spokesperson for the Equate brand at Walmart because I eat it up, you guys. Now you just wanna mix in your Selene solution until you, of course, get your slime. Your slime should be sticky, but not too sticky. Once you mix it in really, really well, it shouldn't be uh, that sticky. It should be nice and ready to, to play. So I wanna thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Now I'm gonna show you guys what this line will do and what this line will look like. And then you guys can stay tuned for the second tutorial. I'll see you guys in a bit for the second one. Or you could just skip to it. Bye, you guys. this is the second one and we're using the same Dollar Tree glue which you can find at the Dollar Tree 
Um, in this tutorial, we will be using a borax solution, so this one will be pretty much different, you guys. So, make sure you get all that glue out. Many of you know I don't like to waste glue, so we're just getting all of that glue out. And this tutorial is for those who don't have the contact lens solution and baking soda. Now we're going to add uh, two tablespoons of that hydrogen peroxide again. So, that's an eighth of a cup. However, like I said, if you don't have two of uh, eighth of a cup, you can use anywhere between two to three tablespoons of hydrogen peroxide. Now we're going to mix in about 20 pumps of lotion. So this is a, I think this is about 20. I did somewhere between 20 to 30 pumps of lotion. And the, you can use any lotion you like. I'm just using the Dr. Till's because I don't like this scent, so I haven't used it in a while. So that's why I'm just using that lotion. However, whatever lotion you have laying around the house will make this slime smell bomb diggity bomb bomb so you just want to mix all those ingredients that i named off in and you just want to mix until you get a puddle so now we're going to add the borax solution i'm just going to add a little bit and then i'm going to add about a little bit more so i would say i added about two tablespoons of borax solution but whatever your borax solution uh, mixtures are go ahead and do that so now I'm just gonna mix in that borax uh, borax solution into the glue until we get our slime so we're just gonna mix this slime all together you guys until it's combined and until it is no longer sticky so once it's not sticky anymore and you mix in all those ingredients then you will have your slime and then you guys can color it and you can play with it this slime is really fun to make I I really hope you enjoyed this easy hydrogen peroxide slime tutorial two ways make sure you subscribe to my channel make sure you thumbs up this video and make sure you check out my other videos and make sure you follow me on my all my social media sites thanks so much for watching you guys and i'll see you in our next episode of shandera creates bye you guys right here and these lovely people right here thanks so much for playing the emoji game with me on saturday if you would like to be a part of our shot out family make sure you follow me on all my social media sites make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you have notifications on thumbs up this video and you can be entered into our shot out family as well as be playing the emoji game with us every every saturday also check me out on live on tuesdays and thursdays where our life is lit Love you so much, Ohana Squad, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye.